Hey, my name is Gala. I am Looker Studio Expert and the founder of Gailey Reports. Today's video will be really interesting. I found it really interesting, actually. Um, it was from a real case from this week. Um, I have Google Analytics 4 account and I have event name, like basic, your basic event name as you have it in a Google Analytics 4. It's only small letters with underscore. Um, and I want to show event's name like here from first big later um, with space. So it's easy to read. So I prefer to use this type of field instead of original one. How can I do it? If we talk about Google Sheets, here we have two formulas. We have upper and proper. And proper way, in the proper formula, we have, mm, yeah, we have proper, we have first letter of each word is big. Here I use this to show how does it work. But, but, <laughs> it could be super easy, <laughs> but we cannot use it in Looker Studio. And I created this formula. You can see it's not super easy. Let's observe this formula step by step and see how how does it work. And maybe you can use parts of this formula for other cases. So I will copy it here. And I think we can start from this part as I used it three times during one formula. It looks like that, that. So we just change event test. Uh, formula reg express replace. Reg, um, it means regular expression. If you work with Looker Studio, Google Sheets, with ads, with marketing, you have to learn a regular. Uh, these regular expressions you have to because these regular expressions uh, I use it a lot I use it to rename campaigns to split data source to, to split yeah, traffic sources by channels um, even to change some symbols here in event names um, and regular expressions you can see different formulas uh, you can see extract uh, to extract part of your field, replace, match, contains. Um, for our case, we need replace. To so we use, how do we use it? Uh, we use reg, expre reg express expre expression replace. Uh, first parameter is, is our field. In our case, it's event name. Uh, and which symbol do we want to change? For which symbol do we want to change? That is it. Easy. Let's create this field and see how it does it look like. Resize column, fit to data. Nice. We already, it became easier to read. Perfect. But it is eh, not the best. So let's see what can we do more with this. Uh, then we have upper formula. Um, oh my God, yeah. Let's use this part of this formula to make it more complicated. Upper, let's use just upper to see how this work. Upper and does that okay? When we use upper formula, it works the same like in Google Sheets. We have all capitalized capital letters. Actually, it's even more difficult to read when I had when we had small letters. So I use formula left. I edit it here. 
left left text formula. In this formula, we have field and expre uh, source expression and length. So source expression, uh, we would like to say event name, but we change event name to uh, this more complex formula, uh, this reg express or replace. So this formula we use instead of field. Uh, then we have second argument, length. So how many letters do we want to take from our from our field? We want to take one, only one first letter. Let's apply and see what we have here. We have only one first big letter. It's already good. But we need to add the rest of our event name. How did I do it? Uh, I use this formula. Reg expression. Yeah, this one. Whew. Let's create a new field. I'll show you how do I work with this uh, to see my logic when I work. Okay. Now it's fine. Uh, event 2. Uh, here we already saw this formula. It's the same as I used before. And here I use substr. Uh, it means uh, to return a substring from the specific field. This f formula has two three arguments. Hmm. Has two arguments. Our first argument it's our field. What is this? I don't want this. So our first argument and this substring mm, formula, the first argument, it's source expression. This is our source expression. Then start index 2, because we have our first letter, we already have the big one. Uh, and how many symbols? We don't know how many symbols. So we use formula length. Length formula uh, counts number of symbols in our in our field. So probably better if I show you like this first. Better if I show you like this first. Create len. This formula uh, we have field of expression and fill in this is our expression. But I don't need the total number of characters because we already have our first letter, so I use minus one. And this field will show you a number of symbols. Eight. So page view. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I do minus one, so I have eight. Minus one because I have already our first letter capitalized. So this is len formula. Uh, feed to data. So I come back to this this stage. So here we have source expression from which character to start and uh, how many symbols our this number of symbols. Uh, and in the end we have the final part of our event name. And now the last, let me do this. And the last step uh, in our formulas, it just join this. Um, let's copy event test. So l we just need to join to these fields to have one. For this, I use concat formula. Oh, this formula I use a lot. So here, our first expression, this first letter, 
that I copy from this field P and event two, uh, let me call it event one. Uh, second, I just copy this formula and uh, add it here. Apply and voila. We have really nice to read events name. So <laughs> really simple stuff. It's, it, it seems really simple in the beginning. So we just need to have the first letter capital uh, capitalized and a small one with a nice space. But you see, so this uh, simple action required from us one, two, so many formulas. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> five different, six. Wow, six different formulas we used to create this field. And I think this is really wow. I really like liked this task. Actually, nobody asked me. I decided to do, do it by myself, but client was really happy to see this. Um, yeah, I think that is it. I hope you like this video as I do. <laughs> as I do like this formula. I really like this stuff. Let me know if you have some tr other troubles with formulas in Looker Studio. Maybe we can absorb them and I can f help you to find solution. I really like this kind of tasks. So please give me comments, likes, subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn Looker Studio, I have Looker Studio online course. Uh, I don't have this formula on course because course is more for beginners, um, but it's really nice because I explain of, about my logic while I create the dashboard. And I think it's really important to understand the logic of dashboard creation because in this case, uh, you have a base and you can create any report that you need based on any data sources. Yeah. Bye.